If you want to farm for fast and easy exotics and today happens to be the Legend Lost Sector Perdition, you clicked on the right video. I'll show you a quick guide and a rundown of this Lost Sector so that way you can use it to help farm for exotics. Now keep in mind that the Legend Lost Sector does rotate daily. So you'll need to check the director to make sure that the Perdition Law Sector is active. Also, the rewards you get might be different if you're watching this on a different day than when I run it. Today, the rewards happen to be chess piece, and I actually managed to get three exotics to drop in three runs. So let's get into it. Now, first things first, to know which is the Daily Legend Law Sector, just pull up your directory and go check out the different locations the Law Sectors can be found. There's 13 in total now this season, four being added to the rotation, which we'll have to find out what the four new Law Sectors are once they drop. That's also meaning that the rotation might change compared to previous seasons, and there's four additional Legend Law Sectors there weren't before. But what you wanna do is check the director for this icon right here and this is going to indicate the legend law sector for the day keep in mind this rotates daily and not to mistake it with this icon which is the master law sector which is a much higher difficulty you definitely want to farm the legend ones if you're going for exotics now the legend law sectors have gone up by 10 recommended power compared to previous season so currently they're at 1310 so in order to be able to see these you do need to make sure you've completed the law sector at least once so it'll show up on your directory and you also need to make sure you have gear equipped to at least 1260 otherwise the legend law sector will not show up so if you can't find it on the director be sure to check those two things and then go around and check all of the other law sectors it could be if you still can't find it today it happens to be perdition which is on europa so let's quickly go over the build now keep in mind the champion mods change with each season so perdition we're going to need overload for the minotaurs anti-barrier for the hobgoblins and we're also going to need to take care of arc shields on the harpies as well as void on the minotaurs now for our seasonal mods this season we do have anti-barrier Barrier, we can put on scout rifles or auto rifles and for overload we can put on SMGs or hand cannons personally I think the overload hand cannons work better than the SMG and I think the scout rifle is gonna work better than the auto rifle but the cool thing about legend lost sector is you can always mix and match to find a build that suits you this is the build that I went with to just do a quick run of it and later on in the season I'll probably do a bare bones guide like I've done in the past where I'm not using raid weapons or war mine cell builds so if you're interested in that guide let me know in the comment section down below now the loadout that I went with I was on my hunter and I was using the revenant subclass you can see I've got the grim harvest aspect along with winter shroud using whisper of shards Whisper of Durants, and Whisper of Hedrons. I think this is a pretty good PvE setup for Stasis. Now for my hand cannon, I was using the Seven Seraph Revolver, so that way I can generate more might cells. For my scout, I'm using Eternal Blazon. Mine has Killing Wind with Kill Club. This is mainly gonna be for the Arc Shields on the Harpies, but also for the Anti-Barrier Hobgoblins as champions. Now I don't have any void, but there's only a couple void shields, so I'm going to basically brute force it with Xenophage and just use that to quickly kill them. Xenophage also does really good DPS, so you're able to take out the wyverns as well as the bosses and champions at range. Now when it comes to my armor, for my exotic I was using Wormhust Crown, just so that way every time I dodge I can heal, but I am using machine gun ammo finders so that get more Xenophage ammo. I also do have Wrath of Rasputin, which is a Warmind Cell mod, so when I get kills with solar splash damage from Xeno, I have a chance to generate Warmind Cells. Next up on my arms is where my seasonal mods are going to be for Anti-Barrier Scout Rifle and Overload Hand Cannon. I also do have Burning Cells, which is where when I destroy a Warmind Cell, it creates a burst of solar energy that causes enemies to burn. This can also proc the other mod, Wrath of Rasputin, to generate even more Warmind Cells. Next up for the chest piece, I have Machine Gun Reserves for more Xeno Ammo, along with Power Rasputin, which will give me an increase to weapon damage when enemies are near Warmind Cells. For my boots, I have Global Reach, which is going to increase the range of my Warmind Cells, along with Absolution, which will reduce all the ability cooldowns whenever I pick up an orb. And finally for my Cloak, I do have Powerful Friends, so that way I get the increased mobility to get my dodge back quicker, along with Outreach to reduce my melee cooldown whenever I dodge. Overall, this is not the most optimized build, but I found that this build works perfect for what I need it for. Let me know your guys' build that you use in this Lost Sector this season, if it changed at all from last season. But that's going to be a quick guide on how to do the Perdition Legend Lost Sector in Season of the Splicer. This is of course at the 1310 power level. Again, to farm for exotics, it's RNG, but you want to make sure you get the Platinum Rewards from defeating all the champions to get the highest chance of getting exotics to drop. 
Like I said before, I did this at three runs and I managed to get three different exotics, one exotic each time. Let me know what exotics you guys get from this Lost Sector. If you guys enjoyed this quick guide, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to, you can always follow me right here on YouTube or over on Twitch. I will be streaming a lot more on YouTube and Twitch as well. That's twitch.tv slash Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.